Um, they also just banned me on Facebook for 30 days. You know, they can keep trying to ban me all they want, but you cannot ban God's word, the word of God. The time is here. Um, so no matter what, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Welcome back to Drama Investigator. Today, I will be decoding the extreme demon worshipping symbolism and true evil nature behind Tina Tequila's social media. This is one of the most blasphemous social media channels I've ever come across. Tina Tequila is a 36 year old American television and social media personality. She first gained recognition for her active presence on social networking websites after becoming the most popular person on MySpace. Tina has been featured in numerous men's magazines, including Playboy, Stuff and Maxim. Tina has subsequently received negative attention for her support of Adolf Hitler, as well as anti-Semitic and white nationalist comments, which led to her expulsion from Celebrity Big Brother. On December the 9th, 2009, Tequila stated that she was engaged to heiress Casey Johnson and was photographed with a diamond ring. Johnson died on January the 4th, 2010 of complications resulting from diabetes. After Tina lost her lover, something very strange started to take place in her life. Are we prepared to see the dark side to her social media, so plainly depicted in her Facebook posts? As we begin, we first see Tina advocating building a wall, which is close ties to Donald Trump, which also means Hello Satan. As we continue unexpectedly, we see Tina making videos on the meaning of life, which is the devil in her eyes, and speaking of resurrection and talking about satanic ways. Oddly enough, this seems to be a direct continuation of where she left off on Twitter when she harassed Nikki tutorials. Sadly here, Tina Tequila is painting a sinister picture of herself trapped in a very close-minded shell, which leads us to believe that she is abusing satanic rituals, potential cult rituals that have been triggered from the grief of losing her loved one. Speculation of a demonic presence is a wild topic online, and it's something that's not uncommon. Many YouTubers were believed to have been performing satanic rituals in order to generate online fame. There were conspiracies around the Paul brothers doing so, which in turn has been very detrimental towards their career. Is this where Cookian could have come from? Are they part of the same cult? You decide. The image of the alter ego has very occult ties to Satan. This point is further proven by the rest of Tina's videos found on her channel. They seem to become more and more strange after the 2010 passing of her lover. This interpretation of occult satanic ties can be further validated by Tina Tequila's posts on Facebook where she was defaming Nikita Dragon. And I quote, We are coming for you. God's army is here. Sound the trumpets, heavenly angels. I'm ready for war. In fact, this specific statement personifies the death of her career. Satan is undeniably trying to discredit innocent people and start a war. In Tequila's video made with her daughter, she undeniably talks about her viewers in a negative light, which leads us to believe Tina has ties to the darkness and satanic agenda of the underworld. Ultimately, this is the troubled life of Tina Tequila. Tequila clearly shows through social media how she's imprisoned by her own thoughts and the strong arms of the satanic world. Rest in peace, Tina Tequila's career. It will not be missed. Please don't forget to subscribe, all my social media will be linked down below in the description. If you've got any tea for me, you can let me know there. I love you guys so much and I will see you in our next investigation.